Hi there, my name is Michael Phillips and I'm a computer technician and I've been fixing computers for about 10 years now. As you can probably imagine, I've seen every type of computer error probably imaginable. So let me explain perhaps the quickest way to resolve a msvcp80.dll error. So the msvcp80.dll file can generally be be found in your System32 subfolder. The problem with Windows is over time the file can either get corrupted or it gets lost. That's just, uh, just the way Windows works unfortunately. Now I know there's some websites out there that probably that tell you to download um, the msvcp80.dll file and replace it into your System32 subfolder. Well, I'm here to tell you that that probably isn't your best choice. It's certainly an option, but it's probably not your best choice. As a computer techie who's been fixing computers for 10 years, I've seen um, so many people download these types of files only to have installed either a virus, a worm, some type of malware completely by accident. And, you know, I mean, that's when these people come see me and I charge them $300 to fix it. So. Uh, let me tell you, today more than ever, computer hackers are disguising viruses as common computer files, and in particular, they're disguising them as Windows-based files. So I'm warning you, please don't download files from untrusted sources on the Internet, period. So what should you do then? Well, hands down, in my opinion, I recommend some software called Registry Easy. This software is probably the best, uh, it's the easiest, it's the most effective on the market that fix, it fixes Windows problems pretty quickly. Uh, in three simple clicks, you can have your computer fixed in a few minutes. So what does the software actually do? Um, here's a screenshot of some of the stuff that it does. The first thing you'll notice is that it will scan your computer for some common um, error types. It will look at your registry keys, it will look at missing DLL files, it will look at invalid file associations, it will look at your startup programs, your startup menus, and as you run it, as you're going through the scan, as in the current screenshot, it will show you all of the errors that have been found. And once it's gone through that, and the scanning has been completed, the only thing you then need to do is hit a little button that says repair error and automatically it will simply repair all those errors. So it's, it's really and truly it's, it's pretty simple. The software also has some uh, additional tools. It has a system optimization tool that you know after you play with it, it will definitely speed up your computer. Um, it has some system fix tools which will look for more errors on your computers and again with the click of a button you'll get uh, some more um, errors fixed and finally the software has some built-in system tools which do file recovery, password recovery, um, there's a Windows startup manager to customize your startup settings and all that stuff. So like I said I really recommend this software. Um, the best part is you can now get a free system scan with the regist registry easy software on my blog. Um, just go to uh, msvcp80dll.net and you'll see a link and uh, there's probably a link on this page either below or to the side. Just click that link. It will take you to my blog and, uh, and check it out. So like I said, you know, based on 10 years of experience, uh, you know, this registry easy software is hands down the easiest way to fix and get rid of DLL problems. So I really encourage you to check it out. So once again, my name is Michael Phillips. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and I thank you for watching.